Music programs in school serve uh, so many different uh, uh, benefits to the student in regards to their uh, emotional growth. I would even say their spiritual growth. Uh, music gives them a release, I would say, from the, I guess what, uh, what you would call the academic rigors. Uh, and it gives them an opportunity to be creative, to be in a comfortable environment, sometimes even to be in a safe space, and to uh, be in a place where everyone shares the same passions, the same enthusiasm. Uh, and you can't have a school without music. You can't have a school without the arts. And music being the greatest of the arts, in my opinion, uh, it should serve as a cornerstone to any successful school. When, when they start the program, the students, maybe even the parents, really don't realize how far it would take them. It may just start as an interest or something that a friend is doing. And then, uh, at least in our program, we start to get these incredible opportunities to travel, to perform in just incredible venues and destinations. And then, with some, if they choose to continue and they really excel in their skill, it can pay for their education. So that, that in my opinion, is a huge difference. Your parents will save a lot of money simply through the gifts and the skills that the students have, and it'll pay for their education. So in my opinion, that's a huge difference that it makes in their lives. When it comes to band, especially in the drum line, it's a different kind of culture. You're dealing with chosen family versus born family. Like this is like, these kids come to you, basically they're a lot of really modern family children. And so what they'll do, they come to you and you're now their chosen parent. 
and that responsibility is so great and I love the challenge of doing that so it's um it, what it means to me is the, the opportunity to, to help somebody who wouldn't otherwise not have somebody in their life like me to support them and kind of push them in a direction where maybe they'll go to college maybe they won't maybe they'll go get a job maybe they'll be a singer but who knows whatever you're doing you get that support from here and so that's why I feel like it matters because I got that when I was here when I was in Southwest Academy. When I was here, it turned out really good because um, a lot of the kids didn't have like that that outside like father figure, um, unfortunately. And so coming into band to kind of have like uh, directors and other like friends who happen to be leaders and drum majors to kind of guide you along your path uh, to be a successful, you know, member of society, I think was super beneficial. So a lot of these guys will leave here and then be section leaders at whatever college that they go to. Um, even if they're not doing music, they're, you know, the managers and, you know, CEOs and entrepreneurs based on the character development traits that they learned here at Southwest Cab. Music matters to me because it's kind of been in my family all while I was growing up. My parents played instruments. I grew up listening to them a lot. Um, in third grade, they made it a, real, a really big deal to choose your instrument, and I always wanted to pick my instrument. So I originally started out on flute, but clarinet now has my heart. Um, and it's kind of really helped me move forward. We're like in the school building. I'm always focused on my grades because if I can't do, I can't do band if my grades aren't good. So I try to make sure I stay on top of my grades so I can continue to do band. Music matters to me because one, I'm a legacy child, so it's always been in my family. And it really matters to me because it's another way to escape. Like if I'm having a bad day, I could just go and play my instrument and I can let out all the expression I need to through music. That's why it matters to me.
Music matters to me because it's really been the one constant thing in my life. Like I've been doing music since fourth grade, since I was about nine or 10, now I'm about to turn 18 next year. So I've been doing it for a really long time. It's the one thing that I know I can count on. I enjoy music, I enjoy all the things I've learned throughout being in a music career, um, especially playing trumpet, like you learn a lot, not only being a brass player, but specifically being a trumpet player. There's a lot of great trumpet musicians, our band director being one of them. But having those great examples in music, and especially on the instrument that you play, has just wanted me to continue my career in music and just pursue it further. As the head trumpet section leader, it is a lot of work, it's a lot of pressure, because everyone knows in the band, the trumpets are always on the front line. So when your section is slacking, not only are they looking at the musicians in the section, they're also looking at the section leader. And it's really hard having all that pressure on you, but you know that with the section that you're a part of and when you take the, the position of the leadership, you have to understand that this is what's expected of you. You're expected to bring it every day. There is no breaks. There's always just pushing towards the end. And you also have to relate that to your section that just because you're tired and you're fatigued doesn't mean that you have to give up. It's always about pushing towards the end and making sure that the overall goal, that the, ba the band sounds good, especially when you're the ones that they usually hear first because you're on the front line. Here at Southwest Cab, being a head drum major, you are constantly the example for your program. People are looking at you throughout the school building, principals, teachers, uh, custodial staff, students. Everyone's looking at you to be the representation for the band. I have to lead pretty much everyone every day, even on weekends. And sometimes it's a chore, but there's a good outcome every day on Friday night when I get to look at the band and hear their sound. It had to be a sacrifice for me. I love playing trumpet and when I was chosen to be drum major, I was actually just getting to the level on trumpet where you would want to be in your marching band. So giving it up did make me a little sad because music does come first in our program, but as a leader, you know, you still get to play your instrument. Our drum line death row was started in 1998 and it basically means that we're about business. Um, it's the vibe that we give off, and it's also um, our hands to match. Uh, we can play, and we're about business. I think music matters because of the lessons that it teaches you along the way. It's not really just about how good you are or what you do. It's just like if you are consistent, that consistency will take you so many places and it will help you with so many things you got going on in life. So it just teaches you like different lessons you learn in the band. It'll 
take you other places and help you with those other things.